There's a new unofficial rule for dating hmm. that's mostly for women, but okay. it oh. involves three simple numbers. Uh, <laughs> are you guys down to do any shrooms? What? No, it's what? not 420, <laughs> Jose. Oh. Those aren't the three numbers. Three, like, three different yeah. but important numbers. <laughs> okay. and we'd never heard about this before until one of our listeners came on the show and explained it. And I wonder how many people out there are also in this secret triple-digit club. Oh, You're going to find oh. out what that it is, is. That's intense if it's the club I'm thinking it's of. It's not that club, oh, Brooke. My Trust God. me. You're going to hear me, about that it feels like a lot. <laughs> in your second date update. Next. Recently, we got an email from a listener who says when it comes to dating, yeah. she used to be a triple-six girl. What does that mean? What? Meaning the only guys that she was going after had to be six feet tall, okay, six pack abs, oh. and six figure income. Wait, hey. triple six. I Those see now. they don't exist. I don't <laughs> believe it. They do. They're all taken, bro. Uh, well, for some people, they exist. Okay, but apparently she's throwing that out the window. I don't know why. Is but she going to go for the five five fives? Is that where we're at now? <laughs> It's a little more realistic. Uh-huh. She's changed her ways. So let's welcome to the show Brandy with an I. Hello, Brandy. Oh, oh, oh. Hi. Brandy, I don't want to brag, but I make at least four figures, girl. What? Uh, well. That's not. <laughs> at least. I yeah. don't count. Okay. Brandy, Brandy laughs, likes it. So she hey, likes it. You're in. Laugh, but uh, like funny guys. It, it sounds like your expectations have really dropped if you're laughing. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah. Brandy, maybe explain what made you change your strategy because this could have an effect on Alexis in her future here. True. 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 Yeah. I started to realize that if you're going after superficial things in a guy, they're only going to be superficial back. Ah, look at that. But isn't that the best thing? Yeah, can you convince me more? Yeah. <laughs> Some superficial <laughs> things are really great. So you're saying we know what to expect. Yeah. I like that. It's consistent. Okay, you decided so, that wasn't for you. You're looking for something more long term is what it yeah, sounds like. Oh, yeah. oh, sorry, I gagged for a second. Oh. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Well, I want... I want some substance, you know, okay. like mm-hmm. someone who will love me and care for me. And yeah. can have a good conversation? Yeah. Oh, God. Now she's really looking for a unicorn, yeah. isn't she? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. That's uh, what everybody wants, I guess. I know. <laughs> you think that's so boring? Jeffrey's I mean, I like, that's so say. dull. It sounds dull, who, but it really but is she, hard. And hopefully it really she found is. it. That's okay, why you're that's on the phone great. with us. Yeah. Lowered your standards. Did you end up meeting a guy? <laughs> I did meet a guy online. Okay. okay. Who's cool. he? Who, who, who? He's five ten. Okay. Oh, so he barely I like, misses the. I like that you're trying not to be superficial, but you start with That's that exactly. instead of his name. <laughs> what What is his name? His name is Evan. Okay. okay. Let me guess. He makes ninety nine thousand a year. Yeah. You're just below. Could you tell <laughs> if he had a six pack online? Not sure. I I don't think so. Oh, we didn't. Well, if there's not a shirtless pic, he doesn't. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I was actually right. thinking yeah. if there's not a shirtless pic, there might actually have some substance, Alexis. Oh. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Well, she's right. No one hides their abs. All right. We we know he's five ten. We're in a question mark about the abs. Okay. What does Evan do for a living? Do you know? He's a claims adjuster for oh. a car insurance place. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I know, I know. It just What's... gets more exciting for Jeffrey is what it does. <laughs> but at least he has job security. It's like a stable job. I'm sure he's great at adjusting exactly. those claims. Yeah. <laughs> That's not so a compliment. What it... <laughs> I don't know what they do. I mean, so far, what did, what did attract you to him online then? Because like none of these things are what you're looking for. Well, you know, I want someone that I feel safe with, that feels safe. Stable and secure, and my girlfriends are like, you know, this, this seems like a stable, secure guy, like okay. someone I could feel at home with. All right, okay. Okay. Seems secure. All right. So, what did you and Mister Stability do for your hot date? <laughs> well, we met for a happy hour. Okay. 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 okay that's Luke, fun. Lukewarm date. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, we're we're heating up. Yeah. Slowly. Yeah. That's good. How that's did that good. go? It was good. We had a couple of drinks and had a nice banter and. He was asking me some questions, and then he asked me a question that kind of stumped me. Oh. Oh. Look at that. What's that? Oh, he said, tell me something quirky about you. Quirky. Oh. Oh. All right. That's a hard thing to answer. Because you don't want right? to you don't want to come across too quirky and no. come off like yeah. a weirdo. Not for me. I'm like I, I suck my thumb. That's what I tell people. I mean, the first <laughs> thing I thought of is I have a weird bone on my chin on one side, but not the other. Do you know what I mean? Like, is yeah, not, Brooke doesn't that's count. not quirky. You said quirky, you not turn offs, Brooke. That's not a deformation of my body. It's kind of weird. How did you answer that, Brandy? Did you, chin? did you have an answer for him? 
Yeah, eventually I, I was like, how do I answer this? But then I was like, oh, I guess, well, I wiggle my toes right before I go to sleep. <laughs> I think I do too. I just realized. Oh that. my god, my husband okay. does a weird thing where he he puts his heel in between his big toe and his next toe. It's very oh, he strange. Like locks feet. Yeah. It's like... <laughs> Let that be the last time we get an insight into Brooke and her husband's it's very bedroom. Strange. It's, it's like, like the, ever. the no. foot is on top no, of the other foot. No, we don't want any more so details weird. about the positioning of your body. <laughs> you are crazy, Brooke. Too. I am sorry, Brandy. <laughs> what? Okay, you you no. wiggle your toes right before you sleep. That was the answer. Yeah, and I have really small toes. Uh, That's quirky. Yeah. yeah. See, body okay. door deformations can be quirky. <laughs> did did Healy respond positively to that? To your toe stuff? <laughs> to your toe stuff. He didn't really say much. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's asking a question that maybe he didn't actually want the answer to. Yeah. You know, maybe, tiny yeah. toes yeah. isn't very sexy either. Sorry, but nothing quirky, sexy. I guess I you're know. right. Quite yeah, none that. of this is. Anyway. Did it change the like vibe of the date? I, it was hard to tell. I mean, I also told him that I collect some teddy bears, but. I don't think that's a turn off. Okay. Unless you have like 50,000. Well, like how many? Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, they're collectibles, you know. Okay, you don't yeah. sleep with them all. No, no, no. Did okay. he have a quirk? Is that even important to us? You know, I didn't even think to ask him. I We had a nice hug at the end. I mean, oh, it, that's good. it seemed that's... good. Have you not heard from him at all? No, I thought it was a good date. I'm not doing my triple six, but I haven't heard from him. Is it shocking that the guy who's supposed to be stable is the one ghosting you and the triple sixes <laughs> were the ones you had to get rid of? Yeah, maybe a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We'll just keep moving down the line if we need to. Yeah, yeah we'll go three, next. three, two, two, one, one. We'll eventually get you another date yeah. here, Brandy. But first, let's call Evan for you. We'll try and hook you up one more time when we do your second date update right after this. Thank you. Right, hold on. All right. If you're just joining us, one of our listeners came on and said that she used to live by the triple six rule for mm. years, mm -hmm. dating only men who were six feet tall, six pack abs, six figure incomes. Yeah. <laughs> and she's not doing that anymore. And no. Brooke made the comment like, oh, so you're into the triple fives now then. <laughs> and it got me thinking, what is a triple five? Uh, over... Five feet tall. Yeah, five yeah. figure salary. Five felonies. Oh, oh, yeah, we can put that in there. Five warts on his face. <laughs> they could be anywhere, Jeff. I mean, oh, okay, yeah, let's not know, limit it to, to just the face. Don't be I... too... Crazy. I support that. Okay. And, yeah, but the main, I, the main idea is if you go away from chasing superficial things, then you won't attract superficial guys. Or yeah. That's what she hoped anyway. Yes. Yeah. And that's what brought Brandy to us because she met a nice stable guy named Evan, went on a date with him, and now he's not calling her back. Ah, even uh, the stable ones. Uh, uh, darn it. Damned uh, if you do, you're damned if you that's don't. That's right, Jeffrey. But we're about to call Evan here. How you feeling, Brandy? I'm hopeful. You are. Good. Okay. That's good. Because you sounded a little jaded when we went from the triple six down to, you know, Evan. Well, wow. no, you know. No? Call her jaded? I don't know. A little bit. Like, it wasn't working out for her. That's okay. Don't take that from a woman with a chin deformity. Well, <laughs> just one side. <laughs> so weird. You should feel it. I don't it need quirky. to touch your chin. Are you chin. sure? No, I'm good. It's kind Thank of fascinating. You. Okay. I'm sorry I said it. Let's just call Evan for you and try and get you a second date update. Here we go. Thank you. Dial this number right now. Hello? Hey, uh, we're looking for Evan. Uh, yeah, this is him. Hey, Evan. All right. Congratulations. You are on the radio right now. Oh, with I the feel show. like we should applaud. Ah, yeah. Hey. Good job, hey. Evan. We don't Anderson. normally applaud oh. for the, the people you that we call. You said congratulations. Yeah. Well, you make him feel like that was oh, real. That's why. Okay. You're on Brooke yeah. and Jeffrey in the morning, my man. You picked up a phone call. That deserves <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> Sorry, I, I'm on the radio? Yeah. 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 We're doing something called a second date update. And we're trying to help out one of our listeners named Brandy, who's a girl that you went on a date with recently. Yeah, man. Oh, 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 yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Um, you remember Brandy? I, I do. I do. That's good. Yeah. Good you start. Yeah, it sounds positive. <laughs> we heard a lot of good things about you from Brandy, about your date and everything. And she's just a little bit confused now that there hasn't been a second one. Mm -hmm. Oh. Um... <laughs> Sorry, this is the this is for the radio though. Yeah, it is for the radio, and I'm sorry that this is like kind of an awkward question and like yeah. way to do this, but <laughs> she couldn't get a hold of you though, yeah. you know. And she, like Jeff said, liked you a lot. We're just trying to help her out. Right. Yeah. 
Um, she was, she was nice. She was cool. Were you planning mm. on, on... Nice and cool is like a negative yeah. <laughs> review. <laughs> Were you planning on seeing her again? Um, you know, I like... Um, okay, that's I don't know. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. It's okay if the answer is no. We just want to know why. That's fair. It's your dating life. You could do what you want with it. But sure. we're just wondering, for Brandy's sake, was there anything that didn't go quite that well that night? Like, is there a reason? Yeah. Uh... Man, I mean, th- th- to be honest, not really. I mean, she, she was p- pretty cool. I mean, like, the day was fine. Then why aren't you dating her again, oh. you dummy? Come on. Oh. <laughs> Name so calling, Jeff. Well, 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 yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> he went back real quick on that. <laughs> yeah. right. I'm Alexis. trying to help. <laughs> he, he, he really likes our listeners. Sorry. I do. I it's want... just like, you know. No, but that doesn't make sense. Like, if everything's so good. Right. Cool. Well, it's cool, right? It's one happy hour. How much can you really know a person after another just good... one date? Mm-hmm. You need to give it another shot, don't That's you think? What, what's holding you back? So I, I'm pretty introverted myself, and you know, I had a nice time hanging out with her. Um, and I, I just, I, I think for me, I, I need to find someone who I, I think is a little bit more extroverted, who's gonna like bring me out of my shell and stuff. Oh, oh. Mm-hmm. that's interesting. I feel like she would right. a little bit. She I mean, seems outgoing. she's a person that contacted a radio station about her love life. That should say a lot about yeah. how extroverted she is. Well, you know? she's having other people do the call yeah. for yeah. her. So. This is more yeah. passive aggressive. I, mean, yeah, We're on I guess I see what she's saying. <laughs> Sorry, so you don't think that she's extroverted enough? Can you elaborate more on that? Yeah, I mean, like, I'm going to be honest. The name Brandy, I thought, especially like the way it was spelled, like all the Brandies I've known kind of like when I was in college, they're kind of wild. And I thought uh, that she was going to be kind of a little bit more crazy or, or uh, Brandy with an eye. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Expecting a wild girl. That's not the same as extroverted. <laughs> <laughs> Those are, well, you were thinking she was a party girl. Is that what you were thinking? No, not really. But like, like I asked her this one question, I remember being like, "What's your biggest quirk?" Like I didn't want to be like, "Are you crazy?" <laughs> oh. Wait, did you want crazy or did you not want crazy? I, I want just like more fun, and, and I have a lot of trouble okay. putting okay. myself out there and kind of like going out or meeting new people or or anything. And so yeah. I need, I want to be with someone who's going to do that for me. So wait, so, wait, wait. So, how did her answer? Boring? How did her answer have anything to do with what that? What was her answer to be? I talk to everybody. Like, what's <laughs> quirky? Yeah, what was your head at? Tough answer. Well, I mean, her. She said her biggest quirk was wiggling her toes or something before she went to bed. <laughs> That's cool. Well, what doesn't scream wild girl yeah, about we, that? We love that. That's cool. I right, bet guys? she sometimes moves her whole ankle. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. You your knees cracking yeah. The whole body starts going. <laughs> Wait, come on. It's just one answer. Like No, no, I mean like she also said that she collected stuffed animals. Okay. And- oh, yeah. Some yeah. could argue crazy girls do that. It's all like an answer my grandma would have given me. Oh. Oh, oh wow. Oh, wow. Oh, that's kinda harsh. Your grandma sounds like a good time to me. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's not something you're supposed to say. Yeah, what? Well, I don't know what to say. So, <laughs> so okay. she's not what you expected. That's kind of the short answer. It feels like you should have asked her, like, what's the wildest thing you've ever done? Yeah, or... that's a good story. Well, I already know the answer to the wildest thing that she's ever done. What's what? that, Jeff? And that's sit on the other end of this oh. conversation, listening to this call, oh, waiting to jump no. in and talk to you. <laughs> Wild. No. Wow. Yeah. Listening with both ears. That's how this works, dude. <laughs> Are you serious? She's here. I'm serious. Yeah. Brandy, you there? Oh, I'm here. Oh. Yeah. Oh. oh, my God. Go on, wild girl. Talk to him. I'm wow. So sorry, um, that's really interesting. Um, <laughs> I get, given the context, my answer sounds really boring and strange, but had you asked me the question normally, you would know a lot more about me. Quirky is like, it's a weird way to put it. Like, I'm a lot of fun. I don't oh. know. That whole sentence took so long. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the out of the room now. We're kidding. We're kidding, Randy. Kind of kidding. Yeah. All right. I mean, like, <laughs> are you a lot of fun? Like, prove it. I guess I kind of, oh. you know, t- I mean, what is the wildest thing you've done? Oh. Hey. Okay, I'm here for this. I don't know if you're ready for it, insurance adjuster. Oh. oh. Fire with fire. Kitty's okay. got claws. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I'm I'm waiting. Yeah. I want to know. We're all waiting still. Well, let's just say I may have recently done a contest in the Caribbean, and I may have lost my shirt, and I may have 
funnel the beer. Hey. Oh. oh, she day drinks <laughs> and loses her clothes. Yeah. I mean, to me, it just sounded like she went to college. But <laughs> yeah. That's pretty fun. Okay. That's, yeah. You got a yeah. the beer and left an article of clothing behind. Does that feel better to you, Evan? Does yeah. that feel crazy? I mean, I think it feels a more on the way. Uh, I just, the, the date ended with like a side hug, and I was like, who gives side hugs? Oh, mm. oh you wanted more. Okay. Well, also, you yes. obviously did because you yeah. hugged <laughs> Are, you just, <laughs> Are you just like sick of safety because you're an insurance adjuster and Sounds you need something like else? Like, yeah. You're like that chaos to... guy in that one commercial. Mayhem. Mayhem, like mayhem, that's it. Just like oh, she's looking for someone more stable. I know. You guys are like opposites attract it's here in, in a weird way. And maybe just a little bit more communication, a couple more dates will help bridge that gap. Yeah, I was nice. thinking a couple of shots of tequila will bridge it. But... <laughs> I don't know if that's strong enough. I mean, do you ever clear? <laughs> <laughs> but we would pay to set you up one more time. Yeah. If you're willing to see each other. What do, what do you think, Evan? Yeah, I mean, if it's on your guy's bill, I'm sure I'd get uh, it. Oh, like, oh, wow. I well, cannot aren't, write this off. Aren't you a crazy, financially <laughs> stable person? That's kind of what she was going for, though. But what do you think, Brandy? You still into this? Yeah, you know, just use your words, man. Like, or make a move. Oh, oh. Oh, that doesn't sound right. like a yes. <laughs> well, sounds like a challenge. There yeah. and, that's, yeah. and that's what Evan sounds like he wants. Okay. It's going to be either this or you go back to the 666 guys. So. <laughs> it sounds like devil worship. Yeah, yeah. you just joined yeah. us. That was not a religion. You want it crazy. <laughs> I'll show you crazy. <laughs> Get in the circle. <laughs> Wait a second. She was a Satanist? No. You no. know what? That's a great conversation to have on your second Wait, date. Would that turn you on? Because <laughs> she can be. <laughs>